we're going to solve three problems on this Fox Body Mustang with one product, the Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix Support System. First problem we're going to solve is make the car easier to jack up. Now if you've ever jacked up one of these cars, you know it's a pain, and I call it the Jack Hokey Pokey. First, you got to drive up on a little bit of a ramp in the front so you can fit the jack under the front of the car. And then you jack up the front, but not too far, because if you jack it up too far, you'll trap the jack handle underneath the rear bumper cover. So then you jack the back of the car up, and then you finish jacking up the front of the car. After that, then you got to find a place to put your jack stands that support the car well, but that the jack stands don't get in the way of what you're working on. The Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix Support System includes these jacking rails. Now I love these things. I put these on every Mustang that I own. They make jacking up the car so much easier. These weld to the bottom of the rocker panel and you can use the middle of it to jack up the car on either side and then you can use the ends to, to put jack stands. Now when the jack stands are on the ends of the rails, they're out of the way of what you're working on which gives you a lot more clearance to work underneath the car. The second problem we're going to solve is floor pan durability. Now any Mustang that's been driven a decent amount of miles, which means all of them that I can afford, have a crack in the floor right here. And especially if the driver is heavy or um, it's just been driven pretty rough, there will always be a crack here. So this one I've welded up before, uh, but the Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix Support System will solve this by supporting the floor pan in this area. The third problem we're gonna solve is chassis rigidity. Now Mustangs are a unibody design, which means that there's not a frame that runs from the front to the back of the car. Instead, there's a front subframe that ends right here and a rear subframe that ends right here. The Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix Support System includes subframe connectors that literally connect the rear subframe to the front subframe and support the floor pan to make the car more rigid. So that the chassis is in its neutral position, you could say, when we weld in the Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix Support System, we need to support the car by its wheels and suspension, not by jack stands. Now, ideally, we would have a drive on lift, but as you can see, we don't have that. So we're just going to support the car with ramps under the wheels. There are a couple things about the Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix Support System that I really like. One is that all the parts are silver zinc plated, which means that versus powder coating, the zinc plating protects the parts on the inside as well as the outside. Also, zinc plating uh, is easier to deal with when you're welding. Powder coating, you have to remove all of it before you weld, where if it's zinc plated, you don't have to be super religious about removing the plating before you weld on it. And finally, the subframe connectors are a low profile design, which can increase ground, ground clearance a little bit versus some of the other subframe connectors on the market. The first thing we're going to install is the Kenny Brown jacking rails. We're going to just trial fit these up here. There's a few lines that we'll have to relocate. And then also, looks like there's damage here to the pinch weld. Somebody really boogered it up. Uh, looks like they were maybe trying to fix a flat tire, but they crunched the pinch weld here and also caved in the floor pan right here. So we'll have to fix that before we put these on. So the jacking rail can fit against the pinch weld. We have to move these fuel lines out of the way. And to do that, we have to drill out these rivets. So it's a 3 16 drill bit to drill out the rivet, but to make sure that I don't drill too far and into the carpet, I'm gonna put a spacer that I had laying around so that the drill bit just sticks out through the end of it. With the Kenny Brown jacking rail clamped into position, I marked about every six inches where I want to weld. So the, this will indicate where I need to grind away the plating and the paint on the pinch weld and the jacking rail. Now I'm gonna use a small cartridge roll on a 90 degree die grinder to remove the paint from where I wanna weld. I wanna make sure to get both sides of this. Now you could do this also with a Dremel or some other kind of tool, but this just is what I had laying around. I'm also using the same die grinder to remove the plating from the jacking rails where I want to weld. I disconnected the negative side of the battery to protect the car's electrical system and then also have a fire extinguisher handy just in case.
with the subframe connectors bolted up, I marked where I'm gonna make my stitch welds. And also, I have made sure that the subframe connectors are as close, because these holes are slotted, I made sure that the subframes are as close to the jacking rails as possible so that when we put in the matrix brace between the jacking rail and the subframe connector that there's enough material there that we can trim away for a perfect fit. On the passenger side, these fuel lines were too close to where I wanted to weld, so I just used a panel popper and then I'll, I'll wedge a piece of wood in here to pull this away while I'm welding to keep the fuel lines from getting too hot. With the subframe connectors bolted up, we'll make stitch welds along the subframes on both sides in the front and in the back. Before trial fitting up the matrix base brace that goes between the jacking rails and the subframe connectors, I relocated these fuel lines a little bit. The old uh, hole was under where the jacking rail was, but now I uh, put a 3 16 inch rivet right here to hold these lines. I kind of tweaked them out of the way here because one of the bars comes and attaches here, and then in the back as well here, um, I relocated this one where the old hole was underneath the jacking rail. The matrix brace is extra long to allow you to trim it to fit, and so I marked uh, the, the middle one and the back one to where I need to trim it a little bit to fit between the subframe connector and the jacking rail. I left the front alone right now because I'm gonna get these two fitted in here first and then I'll be able to get a better reading on how much I need to trim in the front. Now that I've trimmed all three legs of the matrix brace so it fits between the jacking rail and the subframe connector, I'm using a floor jack here just to hold up each leg while I weld it. Okay, everything's welded in. Subframe connectors, the matrix brace, and the jacking rails. Um, I, I cleaned off all the welds with this uh, stainless steel wire brush just to get the slag and everything off. And now I'm going to use uh, this rust barrier. It's a rubberized kind of undercoating, but it's not too thick. I'm gonna spray all the welds to keep them from rusting. Not only does the Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix support system make the car a lot easier to jack up, but the jack stands are now placed in a wider pattern underneath the car, which makes it a lot easier to work on. The Kenny Brown Extreme Matrix support system makes the car so much easier to jack up and the floor pan a lot stiffer. In my opinion, it's worth every penny. say enough about this and these things are popular for Fox bodies and other Mustangs for a reason they work 